Over the last, I don't know how long ever long I've been making these videos, you've been seeing me cut these sheets of malamine up on these this table saw uh, quite a lot. And I never really showed you what has been happening to those sheets uh, that we've been cutting up. And so we got a pile here to be made into something, a pile there to be made into something. Uh, we have back here, we have a pile there, a pile there, a uh, pile all the way through here. And what's been happening with those is I haven't had much to do with it, but behind me, you can see, uh, I believe literally hundreds of cabinets. So we got all those, and then there's like four rows deep, three high most of the time. All those are cabinets that my dad has been assembling. Drawers are in the majority of them already. Anything that is behind the front row already has drawers made and put into them. And so all those sheets of a, a malamine, my dad has been assembling, uh, veneering and putting uh, up in, in the back here in this part of the shop. And we mentioned that he was making stair uh, sets of stairs as well. Uh, you can see down here we have uh, a whole bunch of stringers. Now they got a bunch of stuff on top of them now, but a whole lot of stringers. Back here we have more stringers, and these are all treads. We got treads and backings, and more treads and more backings. And so he's gotten all that ready and Right here, right here we got um, we got a pile. Let's see if we can see better from this angle. Back there, we got a pile of about 1,300 pieces of bridging. And so when you don't see my dad with me, that's what he's been that's what he's been up to. Is one of the main things he's been up to is preparing these kitchen these these stairs for when he's going back to work. And now, why I'm showing you all this now is because my dad, indeed, tomorrow is going back to work. Um, and so that means, moving forward, uh, I'm going to be isolating from my parents. So I'm not gonna be spending as much time in this shop. I'm going to be going through and going to the spray booth sometimes for the table, if it's not done yet. Um, and but, and I'll be working with him if we're working at a distance, but for the most part, we are no longer isolating together because he is going back to work with his guys. They, uh, it's, it's, it's time for them to go back for at least a while. There's some jobs that need to be done. And uh, following all proper protocol, they will be. Uh, but even still, that's just, just more people and I got a pregnant wife, so. Uh, that's what's going to be happening. And I just wanted to show you that pile of cabinets. Three tall, four deep, uh, and all sorts of stuff prepared for a whole bunch before I don't get to show you anymore. I'm now in my parents' basement. I looked different back there, that's all clean. Um, but anyways, uh, a project that's next on the list is right there, right here. This, uh, I went to make this a year ago, a uh, pool heater, and I failed, and I'll show you why. And I'm going to start working on redoing it. I'm gonna walk you through the concept of what is going on here and how I think this is going to work. I can only show you so much here. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Um, I'll show you the problem right now. And after that, I will be able to show you better how it works. So the problem is right here. This problem all the way along, the problem that I can't weld. I suck at welding. And so this thing has leaks all over the place. So that's no good. That was definitely the wrong type of grinding wheel, but it worked. So I'm gonna to explain to you how this thing here works. 
We have four inputs on the top here. Uh, one, two, three, four. The idea is in this one and this one, water from the pool goes in and fills the barrel from going in that one and out that one, or the other way around, doesn't really matter. And on the other set, we have these two. Now, that furnace over there, it how it works is it heats water up to uh, for in-floor heating in uh, that shop and in the house, it uh, heats uh, a radiator and a fan blows through it. And so we're gonna redirect that water to go in through here and in there it goes in and into a whole bunch of rads that are all connected together inside this barrel and so hot water will be flowing through those rads from the furnace and pool water uh, will be flowing all around them uh, and they will the rad water will heat up or the furnace water will heat up the pool water and we have a pool heater so that's the concept only pro issue was my uh, welding job sucked this plastic barrel here is my solution to my ability not to be able to weld so it's got a cap that I can just take on and off Unfortunately, taking it apart, I broke a couple of these plastic nut type things, and so I'm not going to be able to fully put this back together right now, but I'll get it close.